I've had enough. I've had enough of both of you fucking guys. <laughs> That's the wildest shit I've ever heard anybody say. <laughs> that shit got out of control. The Jersey girls start screaming at the fans. Like, why don't you tell them they're pieces of shit? Listen, no bullshit. All I watch is sports and Bravo. Wow. Like, you know All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Everybody Loves Tom, because let's face it, it's one thing we've learned this weekend. Everybody does. Yeah. Yes. Everybody <laughs> loves Tom. Yeah. Everybody loves Tom. And do you feel like, a, like, how do you feel specifically after this? We, we're done. BravoCon is done. You, you, you're, you're there. You got booed. You, you did. You, I was, booed. Out there were like going, woo, 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 woo. woo. They, I, I got to tell you, the one thing that was disappointing to me the most, I was like, my man is not going to lose to my other guy, J DJ James Kenny, in a push up contest. <laughs> Especially after being in special forces and shit. Like, what the fuck, man? Uh, well, look, I had just done chess the day prior, and, you know, <laughs> my chest was pretty, pretty sore. I, was, I burned out the day before. <laughs> And uh, I'm still, you know, I'm still not sure I actually lost because I might have done more. Uh, you lost. Did I lose? Okay. He was doing those pike up joints, and like I, I, I know, I know you were thinking the last thing I need to do in my life right now is to lose to James Kennedy Ugh. in anything, let alone a push up contest with my shirt off in a skirt. <laughs> in front of the world to see, like that's like the last. Like, were you thinking that shit? It's a nightmare. It was, um, it was a kilt. <laughs> kilt. It actually kilt. is a skill, a skirt. It's a skilt. Um, I uh, I was just thinking like, uh, what the hell? Like, what am I doing here? How did this? How did this? No happen? one told you to take your shirt off. Like you did that. Like you're like, what am I doing here? Like you did that shit on your own. Like the shirt came off. I was like, here, this is fucking. Somebody said to take it off. I think. So of course, someone said to take it off. But I mean, people tell you to. Do yeah, a lot, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure people have told you to go fuck yourself in the last, you know, month or I'm so. I'm still and working on that. Well, he's been yes. trying, Michael. Yes, I mean, yes. geez. Yeah. But but how do you feel, uh, Schwartz? Um, man, <laughs> I, I I I posted it on my Instagram. It felt like I was like. Yeah, we're in a simulation. <laughs> this is so bizarre. I feel like we're in the upside down. I feel like we've been in bizarro world for the past year. Yeah. Yeah. It's but I feel like the poles are shifting back. Do you feel that? I, don't I, know. I feel like for you guys, particularly, you know, talking about Vanderpump and and, and the two Toms, Tom Tom, uh, Tom Schwartz, Tom uh, Sandoval, respectfully, um, <laughs> that I feel like, you know, they should shift back. And, and I'll say this, and I'll say this to the camera. Like, you know, the one thing that I've said, like, I went through my, you know, thing like, oh, these fucking guys and, you know, and, and Sandoval, fuck him. And then Schwartz, maybe he should, you know, he should, you know, he sort of, he sort of you missed the bullet because of what he went through and the making out and all that stuff. But I'll say this to the fans. Neither one of them betrayed you guys. Uh, uh, everybody watching this, everybody in the world has made mistakes. At a certain point, it is time to move on and, and move on with your lives. They have to move on with their lives. Everybody involved. And, uh, you know, the show must go on. And uh, to, to their credit, you know, they've taken the punches. They've taken the hits. They've taken the harassment. Uh, uh, and, and it's time to move on. And, and I say that because, you know, without you guys uh, doing good, bad, or indifferent, and without all the reality stars doing good, bad, and, or indifferent, we, the fans, and I'm speaking from people, we have no show. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you, yeah, you go. They don't just want to watch us sit around and, and suck each other's dicks. You know what I mean? Whoa. Like, I mean, whoa. Maybe, Save maybe it for the do. only whoa. fans. Save it for the only yeah, fans. Yeah, I mean, shit, man. You got, I just said fuck yourself, and now you're taking it. <laughs> but, I, but I, yeah, so, so, you know, like, I feel like it's shifting for you guys, and I hope it shifts, and, and you know, and, uh, and I hope it continues. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, By the way, can I just say, I'm having a fangirl moment. The fact that you know my name. <laughs> Dude, I've been watching you since I don't know. Appreciate it. Yeah. In '96. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. This Appreciate is cool. This we is cool. we fuck with you. Me and my wife. We, we, you know, we're fans, and you know, we we've been fans, and uh, you know, we did a, a full slow, you know, play by play. I mean, we were like, you know, writing like schematics, <laughs> rewinding in slow oh my motion. God. We put the captions on. We were like, we need to hear every fucking thing. Oh my from, God. from the beginning. So it was it was interesting watching it after um, season ten ended, and then to go back and watch it so slow, and to see you, you know, when you're, when you're watching with no commercial breaks, no five days right. later or like a week break, it's a different uh, sort of experience. So you know, what were the critical I, moments? What I mean, you have to go season by season. Lay it on us. I mean, the critical moments. I can't even. I mean, obviously, Jax, you know, Stasi. Yeah. My big disappointment of this weekend, 
I didn't meet Kristen Doty. Oh. You didn't meet Kristen? I missed her this weekend. She was here. <sighs> because yeah. you talk about someone that put it all on the line and took the fucking bumps and bruises of being on a reality yeah. TV show. Yeah. yeah, she did. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then to come back uh, uh, when they started filming again, and she's doing witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's like yo. That's like yo. You like I we I like she like I I love all of them that come back, but like the fact that she came back, she's burning shit, and Kristen Doty. I mean, she was highs lows. Like you're like crazy, Kristen. Uh, uh, you know, fuck James Kennedy because he's spitting at her. Like she really. She she. I would have liked to have meet her and just give her like her respect. Yeah. Straight up. You know. You know we live together. Yeah. And yeah. When I I met him on Craigslist while he was dating Kristen. These are my first. Kristen and Tom were my first two roommates. Yeah. The three of you lived together. Yeah, and Jax we, moved in. Yeah, then Jax uh, moved in. And he had like, sh- like literally a month later, he needed a place to stay. And he's like, hey, you mind if I crash on your couch for a week? And I asked Schwartz, who had just moved in, that we met on Craig's, I'd met on Craigslist. And I'll never like, forget these words. That's crazy. Yeah. I'll never forget these words. I go, as long as he's not too much of a presence. <laughs> yeah. And, and cut to him. Jax. Like, Kick calling calling roommate meetings and like <laughs> sectioning off the uh you that know, was the his words room. as long as he's that's so yeah. fucking like that's so <laughs> up your fucking alley i mean Yo. just yeah at, at points in time there were like six people in this two-bedroom apartment yeah. this this rent control Damn. shitty two-bedroom apartment yeah yeah Stop that's, the, yeah that's crazy. That's crazy. So, so, but to answer your question, Jason, like, you know, it, it, you, we'd have to really go, because if I even started, then fans would be like, you forgot this, you forgot that, you forgot this, you forgot that. I mean, there's been so many, uh, uh, obviously, you punching Jax, you know, Jax's whole thing, Stasi. Uh, I mean, you know, the entrance of Lala. The, right. the, the, I mean, yeah, there's just been moments. one thing after another after another. Jerking and like, off a of vodka cranberry. I, I mean, the, 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 you know, but but that's why I said the other day, like, you know, and me and my wife, we're hard body reality people. Like, if if I have to say punch for punch, season for season of of relationship reality TV shows, you guys, it's the greatest reality TV show ever. Wow. Whoa. Forget that's about it. I don't it. even think there's a second place at this point. Like, Because when you look at it in the combined amount of years of, of you guys growing up and the highs and lows and the babies and... You know the, the number one guy in the group, and the, you know the twists and turns, and the James Kennedys, and like he's kicked out, he's not kicked out. See you next Tuesday. He's booed. Uh, uh, he's talking shit to your ex-wife. Uh, 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 just the whole mixology brawl to a push-up contest <laughs> here this week. It's like nothing could compete with it. Shirts are on. Shirts are off. Shirts are back on. Now they're off. I mean, yeah. I appreciate that. By the way, you know. Um, I, the other day is like we were talking about being Emmy nominated, and I, 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 I Tom, the most have I ever bragged about anything in my life? No, not ever right. in my life. But I, I said it I, I, on the record. I was like, I think we earned it. We poured our goddamn hearts and souls into that show. And the Emmys, the, so the, you're still up for the nominee? Like it hasn't happened here because of the strike. Yeah, yeah. I think it's oh, January, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. All right. Hopefully, we fucking any January. progress. I, I know there's no progress yeah, right now. I, I don't know. No, I, apparently, we're, there's progress, but a little bit. You know, I would have loved to end this weekend with the Scre- Sc- Screen Actors Guild strike uh, being uh, done because it's 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 enough. There's enough enough striking, enough shit going on in the world, and we otherwise there's no Emmys. Shout out yeah. to the auto union, which would be auto so union. ironic for <laughs> you guys to get an Emmy uh, a nomination and then the Emmys never happen. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really. That would be. Fuck that up. would be just our luck. <laughs> you know what? That's a new verse in um send that to Alanis more sad. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? <laughs> so over under what what like three, four hours of sleep a night? What where where are we looking at right Man, now? I you know, like listen, you, you you guys are, you know, partying harder. There's there, there's rumors already, speculation. I, I'm gonna let the people figure it out. I just rode up in the elevator with somebody that you're already speculating. I'm not going to say who was in here. It didn't seem... I'm not going to say shit. I think you podcasted, right? So, you know, like, I mean, you you guys are... But, you know, we're, we're me and my wife, you know, we come here. I, I, I was talking a lot, panels. You know, I got some sleep, but... It's you know the air quality and the hotels and the the food and the the, the Pepsi's to keep you going. It, it, I need to get on a plane. I want to hit. I want to get the fuck back to New York. And I had a ball, <laughs> but I've had 
I've had enough. I've had enough of both of you fucking guys. <laughs> I've had yeah. enough of fucking uh, uh, of Jason. I've had, yeah. a, I've had know, enough of Del- Delano's. I've had enough of chauffeurs. I've had enough of all of it. I just I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> who, do you think, uh, who do you think was the most out, out of control panel that you uh, Jersey? Well, Jersey that I saw. Yeah. Well, I would have said yours because you know it got nutty and and then James is starting to talk his shit, which. I mean, you guys loved. Where are you guys at with James? Are you guys cool with James? I love James. I, I saw a show last night. He killed it. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm cool with James. Uh, I did hear recently he's still doing the, uh, you know, the Sandoval's a liar when he's uh, DJing, and and I heard that he was perpetuating, or or, or ca- like giving, uh, causing like shit with like Sheena and Brock for hanging out with me, sort of like calling still? them out. Yeah, it's like I'm like, dude, why are you perpetuating this shit? And like, also, it's like. I, it's not so much I care about me, you know. It's more like you know he's like sort of bringing on like hate towards like uh, Brock and Sheena, and I'm like, right. dude, these guys are your friends, right? You know, like, yeah. You, 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 one of the best underrated moments of the reunion, which I know you loved the reunion, uh, <laughs> loved, loved it, it all the time. But, but, so much I didn't even when, have to. I didn't watch it <laughs> when, when he when he when he was trying to fight you and his. His way of trying to intimidating you when he said, I'm way more ripped than you, bro. I was like, that's the wildest shit I've ever heard anybody say. <laughs> like, it's one thing to be like, yo, I'll fuck you up, you bitch ass motherfucker. I know karate, I know boxing, guy. but to say, I'm way more ripped than you, bro, and you're supposed to be like, oh shit. Like, that's like a threat. I was like, this guy's. He's a wordsmith. Yeah, <laughs> he's so much more lean than me. Yeah, he's yeah, like oh shit, he's way more. That that was great. It's, um, it's kind of like saying I've read way more books than you, bitch. Yeah, right. like, he cuts know. cards way more than I do. <laughs> yeah. But what, what was your question? What, what was he the original thing? Oh, I was just saying oh, that oh the he, panels. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, My, the panel I hosted for Real Housewives uh, of New Jersey. That shit got out of control, and and I was at I was at yours. I was at Southern Charm, which was a little crazy, but the Jersey one. And, you know, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, organize a show, and they're trying to, everybody's telling me, don't do this, do this, don't do that, do this. And the fans, I don't, I thought they vetted the fans. Apparently, they don't vet the fan questions. They just went rogue. And one person was like, you know, I'm just going to say something. I'm not going to make a question. And I'm, like, thinking, you better, better not say anything crazy up here. And, you know, they, and then this other lady, like, she thought she burnt Teresa Judice and then she goes in the crowd she's like I fucking got him I fucking got him and she's walking out like high-fiving people so and then the the, the Jersey girl starts screaming at the, the fans it was the shit so you guys are fine like all the shit that happened to you <laughs> yeah Rapmore, can I ask you something good I know you watch Bravo <laughs> and this is gonna be tough but unequivocally What's the best show on Bravo? It, it, I have to say, I just said the yeah. number one reality show is Vanderpump. No. You, wow. I, I, okay, outside. I'm not saying. I'm saying, Tom. You think if I, you think <laughs> like I just said, and we we stack the numbers. Vanderpump Rules is the greatest reality oh TV God. show ever. Hundred <laughs> percent. I I just broke into like we watched it play by play, scene by scene. We rewatched episodes. We were rewatching. We were like, let's go to part 32, uh, episode two. I mean, minute 32 of the, 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 the makeout. And like, you know, we're, we're scrounging the makeout and, and all that shit. The, the, yeah, the makeout part. So, so, but no, I think that, that, I mean, you know, Vanderpump Rules is the number one reality show ever because the body of work. Now, listen, we love New York. We love, we love them all. Like, we watch them all hands down, but just. When you watch the just the amount of growth between you guys, uh, uh, the whole cast, that I think, you know, and having babies and seeing Jax have a baby and Brock can come in and it's a dope show. We have fun. Thanks, Otherwise, man. I wouldn't oh, fucking hey. be here with half a voice. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I appreciate By the way, thanks it, for man. doing yes, it again. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, yeah. I think a lot of it <clears throat> has to do with the fact that we started off as friends. Not only that, but we also started off as friends that were broke. That's, right. That makes a huge difference. Right. And they've brought people on before on shows where they're like already a little established or like fellow TikTokers or YouTubers or whatever, but they've already got the success. They've already got the egos. Right. You know, they got assistance right. and shit. You've right. Right. The trenches together, man. We, I've worked like, every, literally like. I've worked every. Well, my, I know you, you're an actor. Yes. You've, I'm sure in the beginning you worked some shit. Can we talk about jobs before you actually made it? Yeah. Well, sure. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, every job, job that I had, I got fired from immediately. <laughs> like, you know, like a few months into it. Yeah. 
And I was fortunate to start working as an actor very quickly. And I can't remember what I got paid. There was a movie called Zebrahead. <laughs> But rent in Hollywood at the time was $350 a week. Wow. And when I got that, I remember doing the math. I was like, fuck, I could pay this fucking rent for like four years. Like I had made like $21,000, which is a lot That's of a fucking million money. Bucks. Yeah. This is your set for life. Especially $350. <laughs> a, yeah. So, you know, and I was, I was fortunate. So, so I, I was, I, you know, I was, I was lucky in that, in that fashion and, uh, you know, and, and, and able to keep, to keep going. But you know, you guys, you know, you guys. What, what's your shittiest job before you? Oh, dude, before I, you, I got a story. I got a Vegas story. I wish we could show Rappaport some of your movies, some of your early movies. Oh, <laughs> oh, right they're, they're like, you, they're, you, like two they're like two point five. They're like two point five ratings on IMDb. On your podcast, by the way, of of, of his movies. Oh, oh man, <laughs> they're like, yeah. yo, I would love to do a watch along of an episode of your show with you guys because I. I would be like, hold the fuck up, man. Like, what oh, the yeah. fuck? Hell yeah. <laughs> decompression session. Yeah, this decompression session. This is nice. We're here. Yeah. I just, I, it's my, nice hanging out with you. My big question is, how did you get into Bravo? I got into Bravo from my wife. So she was watching, I can't remember what, and it was, it was something on a Sunday. And I remember, because I play fantasy football, and... You know, a lot of times I'd be downstairs and I'd watch my my games, the Sunday night game. Mm -hmm. And this is when we were living in L.A. So, you know, it'd end like 930. And, you know, if I was winning, I'd be like, great. And then one time while she was watching something on Bravo, I think it was New York or maybe Atlanta. Um, I just I had a fucked up fantasy football day. And I was like, let me just Been watch there. this shit because I know she's not going to change the channel. <laughs> and I was watching like I was like, what is this? And she was like, well, this one's that one. And. You know, and I was like, what is this one? She's like, this one's that one. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then, like, she explained it to me. And then, you know, like, I just, that was it. It was just as simple as that. It was, it was fantasy football uh, uh, <laughs> demise was my bravo, uh, uh, you, know, in, uh, you know, incarnation. So This is how, like, I feel like so many husbands get into bravo. Yeah. They walk There's into only a one room. remote. Yeah. There's only one remote, and, and you know, and if, if you if you're gonna sit in there in the Bravo room, you gotta watch it. And you know, I just look at it like it's 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 to me it's at its best. It's just pure entertainment at their, you know, at, the, at their expense. Our pain and, is your pleasure. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Do you get secondhand anxiety watching us? Because I have a hard time. I mean, just from being on our show, because. You know, I feel like our show just mainly consists of us having the one conversation with the one person you don't want to have it with. So, you know, do you get like watching us, you get that secondhand anxiety or because we have people tell us that like they fall asleep. They fall asleep no, we watch show. the shit. We yeah. watch the shit. There's no fault. There's no falling. If we fall asleep, <laughs> if, if we're falling asleep, we we stop the shit and then we come back the next day and then we, we, we rewind five minutes. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. No, like because. You know, we're invested. It's like, listen, no bullshit. All I watch is sports and Bravo. Wow. Like, you know, I, I fuck with my news, but like first consistent, it's like sports, Bravo. And there's times, and I tweet about it. I go, I'm ashamed to say uh, I, I turned off the Giants game and watch <laughs> blah, 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 you know, because that, that's that's my thing. So, you know, but I, I don't. You know, I don't really get anxiety. I mean, I think, you know, I'd say like, you know, at the reunion, like I was like, this shit is out of hand. Um, you know, but but what has it been like for you, man? Like the, the, this last month, two, three months? Uh, like when, when you're out in public, are like motherfuckers screaming at you and shit? There was a moment, Tom, I'll speak for you. I feel like there was a moment where you, you could not go outside without being booed and hissed. Well, uh, look, literally, there was what like was, at the Starbucks. Yes, and the paparazzi outside your house. And well, they follow uh, it and stuff. Like, look at this scumbag piece of no, shit. No, 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 no. Was a moment you don't. Well, know. you don't even know. Well, I'm sure, like. It like was, you lost your hearing at a certain point. He's telling you like he could hear things you couldn't hear. That's fucking. Like people would, people were always always pulling their phones out and filming me. Damn. In, in everything I did, I was always watched. People were always filming me. I'd be sitting on an air like airplane next to somebody, and they would literally just be like, and I'd just be like, hi. Like they would literally just be like filming me. Sitting down and, and, you know, filming who I'm talking to. Um, I had two to three paparazzi outside my house for six months. Six fucking months. Damn. Like, I was so mind blown. I thought, yeah, people are going to follow me, maybe ask me, maybe wait outside, Tom, Tom, maybe whatever. But 
They would follow me to freaking a show in Anaheim to, you know, San Diego, uh, follow me to the airport and have their have like somebody waiting to receive me at the airport when I got there. Follow me all the way to security. Jesus Christ. It was insane. And and you're and you're getting it the second like you motherfucker too. You fucking you, you are you getting it also? Oh, you <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Why are you friends with this motherfucker, you motherfucker? Oh my god. I got shamed, publicly shamed for being friends with him. And um, you know, you know, I think it annoyed me a little bit, like, you know, I heard some James also giving people shit for wearing, like, lightning bolt, and like, a, some, some girl told me for lightning bolt necklace, and I'm like, James, are you being, like, fucking two-faced to me, man? Like, where, so are you guys, chi- like, do you guys, are you guys chilling with him in real life? Yeah. I, I am. I, I like James, um, you know, we don't hang out, like, a ton. He's a big personality. Right. And obviously, we're both very busy. He's on right. fire right now. Yeah, he's, he's doing, doing great. He's right. doing great. Yeah. What about the number one guy in the group, Jax? Because I don't understand, like, what, like, like I fuck the, with Jax. We got the band back together last night. We hung night. out last yeah. night. The yeah. three of you? Yeah. 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 In public? Just us three. Just yeah. in public? We were well, yeah, we, did, we went to dinner, and then we also, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Babe, my I would tell my wife, if we saw the three of you together, like, that's the one. I didn't meet Jax either, but if I saw you guys in public together, like, people would be like, what the fuck's going on? We got the band back together That's last good, night. man. The so fucking sick. band should get back together, yeah. man. Yeah. The fucking band should get back together, man. I know, I listen, I'm going to just direct this to the people like Michael Rapport. They're like, why? Why don't you tell them they're pieces of shit? Why don't you tell them they're scumbags? I, 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 I'm, I did, I did some videos. I fucking banged them up, but you know, like I said, <laughs> hey, the river flows. Sometimes we are scumbags. Sometimes we are pieces of shit. Listen, if you had filmed me when I was in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of that, would you ever do a reality show? I wouldn't do an interpersonal, like reality like show with my wife. No, yeah. but you know, like me and uh, uh, Sandoval. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm the one that bumped his ass off of yes. the mad Singer. He did. What? Oh yeah. Because uh, fucking you guys- pickle. Dude. I totally oh, forgot you about that. motherfucker. Now that's not a re- that's a more of a competition show, but as far as in you know, like I, I would do I'm such a fan of it. It would almost be like a I'm so curious about the world of it. Like I don't ask questions. I've never asked questions about the making of to anybody. Yeah. Because I know that I don't want to see... Like, obviously, I understand editing, but, like... You want to see I, how the sauce is made. I don't, because I'm, I'm, I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan. You, 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 don't want, uh, you don't want to know what's in hot dogs. <laughs> no. And that's a hot dog. If you, you know... <laughs> like, I could see sometimes... Like, like, I noticed, like, when I'm watching show... Like, it took me, like, let's say 10 years. But, like, I finally... Like, it was when we were watching Vanderpump. I was like, babe... And this is how, this is how much we're immersed. I was like, babe, do you notice that... Like, if I'm doing a scene with the two Toms and Jason's there, like, like I'll just pop into a scene. Like, I was like, people just walk in and they go, you know, fuck you, fuck you. And then they walk off. And we were, like, discuss, dissecting. Is it coincidental they all work there together? And I was like, no. They, they, they just, they're there. So, like, it's sh- there's, there's shit like that that I know you guys can't talk about. But that's what makes it perfect and, and makes it fun. But, like, people enter and exit scenes and it's right on. Uh, uh, like a storyline uh, clips right where we need from a storyline. So yeah. that, that that it took me a while to figure that out, but that's because I'm a fan. Dude, were you stoked that you uh, bumped me off like specifically? <laughs> I wasn't stoked so that I bumped funny. you off at all. What I was pissed about is because we were sitting in the trailers, like any show. Oh a, yeah, yeah. And I was don't like, "Don't talk to me." Uh, sweatshirts yeah, and the visors. And I was like, I could have been chilling with fucking Sandoval. Like, r- yeah. the, like the dust is still on him. Yeah. We could have been back there, like, hanging out. So that was the thing that I was bummed about. But, you know, I was just trying to, like, I ain't a singer. Yeah. At all. <laughs> <laughs> and I never and he sang. me off. <laughs> but it was kind of like, you were doing your thing. But I was like, I just, for me, I was like, I just need to get to the, out of the first round. Because I was like, I can't make myself look like an asshole. So, you know, I, I was just like, you I did don't. good. You did real good. You charmed the judges. You had a great personality. Your uh, costume was Say something was about cool. my voice. Your <laughs> voice No, because you're like, you're talking about personality, <laughs> charming. Say something the voice of it's a, a fucking show. angel. On the spot. You had the what's voice. Your, what's your go-to? Karaoke song. Five, <laughs> ten seconds. 
It, like, it's a, it's, it's got to be. I mean, there's so many like, but, but like you know, the Rolling Stones or Rihanna or something ooh, like that. And I would ooh, sing for you, Rolling ooh. Stones or Rihanna. Rolling Stones or Rihanna. <laughs> you know, they're the same. You know, you know, you're, you know you're typical so Rolling similar. Stones, Rihanna. Uh, <laughs> 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 or, or, or Sinatra singing or Pitbull <laughs> or, or Sinatra tune. But it was, it was fun. It was scary as shit, though. It is, and you can't fucking breathe. And the choreo is like. The choreo got me, man. The choreo was like, yo, but but fans knew it was you because your one dance because you were like you were like doing your I shit. Know, and I gave was like, it away. Yeah, that <laughs> gave it away. But but when you, when I was walking out because I was on stage. You sure it wasn't the name? His name rhymes with Bomb Mandeval. <laughs> you sure it wasn't that fucking He's really glue? pumped to Dude, be here. Really pumped to be here. Feels like he a drove a van. The nose. Dude. <laughs> Dude. But when, when I was walking out and they the revealed, I was like, let me just see. And they took it off. I was like, oh shit. And I called my wife. I was like, babe. Babe, yo, you're not gonna fucking believe she was like who I was like, yo, it was fucking Sandoval. I bumped off fucking Sandoval. They took his fucking mask off. Oh my god. And we were in the middle of the rewatch. So I was in LA. We were in LA for three weeks. We were like driving by Tom Tom. Like, this is what we were like heavily into our wow. rewatch. And, and the fucking place was closed and shit. So it, it was it was fun. It was Dude, fun. You, you, Can we take you to Tom Tom, by the way? Can you? Can we yeah. take you to Tom Oh, Tom? hell yeah. Yeah. We'll bring my, my wife, her, her, her friend. We'll, we'll, yo, I'll try the drinks, and I'm not a big drinker. Yeah. I want some apps. Great drinks. And, and, and of course, whenever, uh, uh, you know, Schwartz and Sandy's. Thank you. Yeah. And also, listen, it's one thing to fucking call this guy this, call this guy that. Let's let the fucking business open. That, that, I'm not down with that shit. I'm not down with, 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 with it going, like, beyond the show. Yeah. But yeah, I Thank would you. love that. And Tom yeah, Tom, all that let's, shit. Let's go. Yeah. Let's uh let's hit let's hit the uh let's hit West Hollywood. You I know? want you guys doing the drinks and shit and flip you know, doing oh, that crazy yeah. shit. Hell yeah, I'll get behind the bar. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah. I'm a fan, man. Yeah. I fuck with Thank you guys. You. Thank I told you. <laughs> we don't want to keep you too yeah, long. Thanks, Michael. Really I was gonna say it. too about oh, uh sure. Mass Singer <clears throat> is that I had them they were being I I feel like they wanted like I feel like the other, you know, People they'll like, they'll say you know oh he likes to go to you know they like to go to parks you know they had a strained relationship with their father <laughs> you know like it could be fucking anybody with me it was like so obvious like the world's really mad at me right now but I did it it was I was like You're guys guys like I was I, I rewrote it and they're like they're like no 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 it could be uh I'm like guys who else could it be besides me with it these was, clues did they're you like, trip they out me, they told me they're like he it ruined could be Donald Trump Polish and yeah. Lightning yeah, yeah, they, said it could be, they said it could be He's Donald Trump, Trump. it could be Vladimir Putin right it could be Elon they're telling Musk. you this behind they're the stage? telling me this it could be Kanye West I'm like you guys like none they of these said it motherfuckers could be are doing this show <laughs> <laughs> he could be Donald Trump, and like you're up there, like it's like you're up there with like the likes of Donald Trump, Putin, and Kanye. Yeah. So like, what the fuck, yo? But when they they because they never guessed me till I took my mask off. Wow. When they first when you first did your song and they first said like Ken Jong first said, yeah. Tom, did your heart drop or were you? Because I would have bugged out if they said my uh, name. I just literally. Just kept doing the same thing. I didn't react at all, but I knew. I mean, I knew somebody was going to spit it out right away. But it didn't. Yeah, I feel like they I were think... using me for, like, because they literally mentioned our ratings. I feel like they were using me for ratings, so they wanted to, like, get it out there that yeah, it was me, which is sure. fine. I, I want to be used mind for being ratings. Used. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, was, it was fun, though. I had a good time doing Tom, it. Tom, didn't you think that Michael was Conan? I did it like I mean, for like, a second. I didn't hear you because because uh, I guess like when you went on, I was like in the back or whatever. Because I was talking shit. Yeah. I when didn't I was hear you. when I was rehearsing, I was like, I, what it was, was your, the height? It was, yeah. but I was like with the like I, I think you had went on because what was your first song? A move uh, like Jagger? No, it was uh, uh, I did any way you want it by uh, Journey. Uh, Journey. I, when I was rehearsing, so this is before the cameras. I was like. Whoever these motherfuckers are, bring your fucking bag because your motherfuckers are going home. And I was like, my boy. So one of the other characters, the 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 the, uh, the coach home, she goes, yo, so and so knows it's you. He, she said it's you, and I'm just telling you, he knows it's you. I was like, tell that motherfucker to bring his bag home too, because he, he's going home. Bring his bag to the fucking thing. So it was it was just it, it was fun. But it's, to go back to your question. Yeah, I wouldn't do an interpersonal r reality show. But I would do something along the lines, like you know, we built a house, and that would have been 
Somebody missed, <laughs> mess, messed an opportunity up because the building of our house, <laughs> oh the God. highs and lows between. Oh, that sounds it, it, awful and amazing. A little bit about was, that time. Somebody missed out on a fucking mint because it yeah. was just a bunch of. It, it was fun. So I would do yeah. something like that if it's, if it's contained. I'm not going to do like other shit because it's just yeah it's too personal it's too personal it's too personal what's your uh, can i ask what uh a little off off subject actually Mm -hmm. we off subject what's your uh favorite movie that you've done that you've enjoyed and then what do you think is like your least favorite movie and why you're a great fucking actor by the way yeah Yeah. i want to say it thank you my favorite movie it's hard for me to pick you know, like a favorite movie, you know, True Romance. The the movie that people fuck with the most, uh, it, it varies, but like True Romance, uh, Beautiful Girls, um, Copland, because I just watched, by the way, an awesome documentary. Sylvester Stallone did like a really, really like It's Him documentary that's on Netflix. It's awesome. Um, you know, there, there's a good amount of them. And, and you know, my, my least favorite ones... You know they were they were disappointed because they didn't live up to the ex- expectations. Like I had fun. You know I did a, a movie that didn't do well with Eddie Murphy and I love. Oh yeah. And Eddie Murphy was like, my guy. So to be working with him and to be trying so hard and knowing it's not going well, a film called Metro, that was probably uh. my biggest disappointment because we were trying to do something. Even me and Eddie Murphy and I was like me and Eddie Murphy. I was tripping. I was. Literally, like, I'm in here with Eddie Murphy, and I was Whoa. like 26, 27, so it wasn't many years yeah. away from me, like, still being like, I'm like, in oh, here. yeah, I mean, that's like, in, you know, the, the, that's like shortly thereafter, like Beverly Hills Cop, like three, I think. I, I, I'm he's Eddie, he's still like, he's Eddie motherfucking Murphy, and we're in co- like, a, like, we're in scenes doing Raw like, is like five years out, maybe a yeah. few more after that, but yeah, nonetheless, it was that was probably the biggest disappointment because I getting it. And the the what it could have been, and then what it turned out to be was was it was disappointing. And I was movie. I saw that movie. I didn't even finish to say that, to watch the screening because I was like, this is fucking not good, man. This oh, is not as good. Shit. You know. So some fans like it, but for me, it was it was just like, damn. Because you try your own worst critic though too, and especially something that you put your heart. It, trust me. Do, yeah. if, do you know the movie Metro with me and Eddie Murphy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's not many Eddie Murphy movies that people you know. <laughs> so it's just it was disappointing. So but but for the most part. You know, I've had a good time on all of them, even the ones that don't turn out, because, you know, it's the shit that it's the shit behind when you're not shooting that you remember. Yeah. You know, it's the hanging out, it's the, you know, the dinners and all that stuff. Like, and then the the results you want it to be good, but you can't control that. Yeah, it's in their hands. It's kind of like when we, you know, when we shoot our show, like all of our, you know, I, I uh, in a song I say I say that you know minutes shown when we film for hours, you know, image served by evolution's power, like. Evolution's our production company. You know, every time we film, we film for two hours, you know, and then they show, like, if we're lucky, like five minutes of so, that two hour scene. So, like, if you do, like, if we if we did this and they were like, Michael Rapp, if you're doing your show and you're like, rap reports this coming. This would be three to five minutes. This Maybe. whole thing. Tom, yeah. Generous. Yeah. Three to five minutes, a long scene on yeah. your show. Or, or, yeah, yeah. or three. like, yeah. not at all. You know what I mean? Fuck. I, yeah. I get it. I get it. So I, I'm, my, my, my uh, uh, question for you guys, because I'm just doing this as a fan and people, I, I'm just kind of representing the fans here. <laughs> Going in, how was the, se- like, this next season, is, is it like, is it, first of all, how was it filming the shit? Because even the little shit that I saw here at BravoCon looked crazy. Uh, uh, but Schwartz, you know, I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run in on me. <laughs> Schwartz, you stress case you. How, how was Monday it? Guy. Say Schwartz, who's yeah. Monday guy? How, how, how did it go? Schwartz, you stress case you. <laughs> I, uh, I was campaigning for this motherfucker. <laughs> Low key, although I said I wouldn't do that. And he this year? Yeah, he didn't ask me to do that, but I took it upon myself, and um, it was a I subtle campaign. That. By the way, yeah, I was a little premature with the hugs for Sandoval campaign. <laughs> um, watch what happens live. Yeah, I was a little. Wait, was that what? <laughs> it, helped, that was a... <laughs> it helped though. That People was... came up to me and gave me some hugs after really? that. It really helped. Yes, it really helped, man. Thank you. Well, I never seen, really I never did seen help. you so dejected, and and people were like, "Why I would was you a say shell, that, man?" You were just like this. I'd never seen you sitting like this. Yo, when he comes over to your house, or it was yeah, when he co- when you come over to the place. And you're all fucked up, and then you're sitting on the floor, and you're like, "It's really bad, man." <laughs> that shit is that we were laughing because it was so fucking dark and bad. 
Like, we were on the floor, like, stressed out Tom Schwartz. That shit's the best. <laughs> that shit is, that's like your shit. Like, when you're, like, freaked out or overwhelmed, that's like your, that shit's hilarious. And I know it's not hilarious for you. That's my every day. I it's a lot of the time, Michael. Yeah, dude. It's, uh... It's like the baseline. <laughs> and yeah. then you, I mean, that fucking moment, I think it was Vegas. Like, you guys were in drag. Was that Vegas? That was, that was uh, New Orleans. Yeah. And you're like, boom. He's like, he's like a fucking, uh, what did you call him? He's battered like a wife. battered wife. And you're just like. <laughs> I thought shit. he had gone into the bathroom to I was to not cry. taking a shit. I was just sad. <laughs> no, you were, on the, you were taking a shit. No, my pants were on. <laughs> oh, okay. But also, Schwartz, I will say, when you finally come out of your shit, and you, because there's, I think it's three moments, and, and I fuck with Lala hard. I love Lala. I fuck with Lala hard. She's a fantastic She's character. She's a bad mamma jamma, yeah. yeah. But when you came at her in season 10, mm -hmm. and when, there was a, who are the other people that you sort of fought, fought back against? Who are the other people that he's fought back Just, against? Uh, Kate. Uh, no, I love Stassi. Oh, no, she. Just Katie and Lala. Yeah. Sheena. No, times. no, no. Oh, yeah. Was it Stasi? Was it Stasi at the Called restaurant? Sheena no. bootleg Kardashian. Well. <laughs> Katie at times. Was it? Was it? Was it? Yeah. So when you when you when you fight back, I I, I like it too because I'm like, yeah, man, you're getting fucking pounded here. I mean, you gotta fucking say something, man. It only takes so many. Yeah. And I think yeah. you th it threw Lala off because Lala is wicked with the tongue. Yeah. And when yeah, you yeah. sort of hit, she's no joke with the tongue. She's caustic. She's got the, uh, yeah, acid tongue. Yeah, she yeah. could she could fuck you up with the tongue. But when you hit her, she was like, you froze her up. Like, she glitched. <laughs> and I say that with love because I, I fuck with Lala. But like I was like, yo, you glitched her. I was like, good for you, man. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Man. Yeah, this was uh, this season is definitely going to be uh, it's it's it'll be good. I, I, I think I mean, it's yeah, you never know when you're in the moment, like how like what what's going to end up there out there, whatever. But um, I mean, for the I can tell you my experience was just, you know, very is so humbling, just so humbling. Um, Big slice of humble pie. Yeah. By yeah. the way, this is cool. If we if we never get to do this again, this is nice, man. Yeah, we're yeah. we're, we're yeah, gonna. Seriously. I'm coming to get the drinks, yeah, man. I'm, I, you know, we yeah, fucking. Yeah, this is nice. Please. Well, yo, thank you, bro. Yeah, you want yeah. to do an so outro? Because I'm gonna get. I'm. I'm. I mean, listen. I yeah, fuck with you sure. guys. I appreciate no, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You reaching yeah, out and uh, was the outro into this camera? Yeah. Right yeah. Here, Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, Michael. Everybody, Michael. I'll do the outro. Everybody hates fucking Tom. Oh wait, is it everybody hates Tom Sandler? That was the first title. Everybody loves. Yeah, everybody loves Tom. Was uh is who who came up with the. The promo for Everybody Loves Tom. Uh, I would say it was probably Jason and Jason. Yeah. Jason, we have two Jasons as producers. It was good. It was good. Thank you. It thank was you. good. And thank you got you. the ill cameras and all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you to yeah. Herdat Media for letting us borrow. Yeah, thank yes, you. Thank, thank, you. thank you guys really for letting us do it here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. yeah. Thank oh, you so, so these aren't your cameras? No. 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 Oh, you got it's, shit it's cameras like everybody else. You got the shitty LA cameras. Yes. No, but thanks again so much for joining us. We know it's been a long weekend. No, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, thanks so much. Shout out to the two to the two stars of David. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, man. It's your lightning bolt, right? Absolutely. 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 This is cool. Yeah. I appreciate you guys having me on, and Thank I'm looking you. forward Thank to uh, Tom Tom dinner. Hell yeah. yeah. And Can't I'm looking wait. forward to season 11. Can't Thank fucking. We're going to be the biggest ratings. No. Of, <laughs> not even close. Oh my gosh. Shit's going to be dope. All right, let's hit the tables. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Thank you.